Samuel, Guildford Riders Hub, here again with Rob Paternostro, head coach of the Leicester Riders. Been a while since we spoke. Rob, how are you doing? I'm doing well, thanks. A brilliant, a brilliant run so far this season, 13 and 1. How does that sound going into this weekend's game? Sounds good, yeah. We've been uh, excellent in league play. I think that um, you know, both ends of the floor really are pretty consistent. Um, I think there's a lot of room to grow, which is mm. exciting. Um, but, uh, but yeah, these guys have uh, really dialed it up. Uh, Season. Played both Newcastle and Manchester since we've last spoken. Of course, the, the trophy defeat as well. Kind of just talk us through those games and, and, and some key points. Yeah, go back to the trophy defeat. It was very disappointing. You know, we fell in a good position late. Uh, but, um, you know, they made a couple of plays down the stretch. And we didn't. Uh, we had a couple of drives to the basket where it didn't go our way. And that's uh, the way it goes when you play a good team. Uh, you know, in the games that we played London this year, they've come down to the end. And, it was disappointing to go out that way, but uh, we quickly moved our attention onto the league and I think we've um, you know, been good at that. You know, we've had a couple of tough losses and we've been able to, to come back strong. I think Newcastle game on Wednesday and we played pretty solid. About the fourth quarter we were uh, in really good condition. That was impressive by our guys to keep going. And then in Manchester on Sunday, a tricky team, a uh, team that had one Friday night, a new player. After the first half, back and forth, so we took command of the game. In the second half. So, yeah, I think that um, you know when we look back at these videos, we're happy with the way we're playing, mm. but we still feel like we got a long way to go. And I think that's what's going to be fun about the second half of the season is trying to uh, continue to improve and be uh, the best we can be by the end. Head into a double Worcester spell as well. One one of the last times we spoke, of course, it got curtailed due to COVID. Uh, it, it must be weird to be playing them twice in a week. Yeah, it is. It's almost like. Uh, Series, yeah. but um, yeah, it's a little bit different, but it is what it is. I think this season we knew that schedule at times was really tricky. Yeah. You know, uh, they're a team that uh, has a lot of talent. You know, you start looking at that roster, they got a lot of good players. Uh, you know, they're a little up and down. Uh, but um, we've seen them uh, play well at times, so there's no doubt we'll be ready for that. And uh, I think it's going to be important as we head into Sunday how much we learn from Friday. Yeah. You, know, you play a team Friday, you turn around playing Sunday, you got to you got to learn some lessons from Friday night, and I think that's going to be important for us to uh, be intelligent as we go into the second game. Especially, of course, playing here at home on Friday and then, and then Sunday away at Worcester. Having played there having played there this season against Glasgow, albeit not against Worcester as well. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, road games, we've been good on the road yeah. this year. So the good thing is we have a day in between. I think that day in between yeah. is, uh, is important. You know, uh, let's look back at the game and figure out what we need to yeah. do better on Sunday. It's, uh, it, it's, it's of course a, a good a good points haul ahead of Newcastle as well. It's a good chance to extend your points haul and go even further at the top of the table as well as extend that winning run as well. We're in a good position. I yep. mean, yeah. I mean, when you look at it, I think the, the interesting part is we're not even halfway there yet. Yeah, yeah. So uh, there's still have more than half of the season left in the yeah. league in such a short period of time. So health's going to be a factor. We try to stay as healthy as we can. But, um, yeah, I love working with these guys. They're ready to go. They look forward to these type of games. So it should be a fun run. So you say a lot of improvement then to come with the with, with us only just about halfway done of the season. Yeah, I think that it's important each year that um, you know as you head into April and May, you're you're a better team than you were. And I think that um, you know, fortunately for us over the years that we've had a group, that groups that have been able to improve at the end. And I think that. Um, we don't want to peak uh, now. Yeah. We want to do our peaking when it comes to May. Thank you very much for your time, Rob. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. Um,